everybody. Tanisha here coming to you guys with another homeschool crew review. This is from Apologia, and today I will be sharing with you our family's thoughts on the Exploring Creation with General Science third edition. Yes, this is the third edition of their general science curriculum. We have received the textbook and the student notebook, as well as the solutions and tests for this curriculum. Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about is the textbook, and I do have it propped up so that there will not be a glare on the text. I really like how it, um, when you open it up, it starts with information on how you can engage your child based on their learning style. I think it's very important. I think it's also part of the reason why a lot of people homeschool, and so this information here is provided for you immediately, so that way you can um, teach your child in the best way possible. Um, I love how they give very detailed and instructions about everything. And I love the red letters. I was talking to a friend and I was telling her that the red letters in Apologia um, in this book remind me of the Bible because, you know, when you see something in red, it is extremely important. And so you will see things in red, um, especially warnings given just as reminders, being careful, being cautious, because you are conducting experiments, you are using chemicals. Um, I loved how they outlined the table of contents. Everything is nice and neat and organized. That's the one thing I could say about Apologia. They don't skimp on um, quality. They do not skimp on detail. And I know that is um, sometimes people feel like that it's too much, but I like it. My son is really big on information. So this works very well for Bear. So we um, began working through module one. We decided to go ahead and start in order. Um, I did split the lessons up at first and split them each in half so it did take us a little bit longer to get through the first module but I am happy to say that eventually he picked everything up and was ready to do it honestly he could have been ready from the beginning it was more so me transitioning him into junior high style but I love how they have the pictures and examples and I like how the text is broken down with details um, how they'll have vocabulary words with the blue and then of course there's a lot of reminders take your notes how to do it and especially because it is the first module they do give a lot of assistance and a lot of help um and then when it comes to the experiments in here i like how they look completely different than the text they're not just um inset in the text just sitting there and looking the same there they stand out and it's really cute it looks like a ripped sheet of notebook paper so you go through and they have information about the experiments what to do how to use it and of course here we go we see those red letters giving you information those that common sense information as well so that is throughout the entire book the red text and this book is very well put together the quality again the quality is nice and i i enjoyed it my son likes reading it as well and so here we have the student notebook um, upon receipt, I was really excited about the student notebook because we have used a science with Apologia before and I lo love how the student notebook was organized, but this one is on a totally different level because it is a junior high level. This one has a lot more um, detail in it. It provides um, a lot of space for the children to write and to have their own thoughts. It has information about how everything is graded, which I think should be included in here because the kids need to know what they're expected to do and how they're expected to do it. As you open up the workbook, the same information that is given to you in shorthand on your daily checklist is also given to the student as soon as they get to the student notebooking page. So when they turn to that page, it has the exact same instructions. So they don't have to flip back and forth. So on week one, day one, I am writing definitions. I am writing a sentence or two to summarize. I am answering an on your own question and I'm gonna begin my timeline and then I'm going to check it off. All right, so here we are. This is week one, day four. And this is just where he took some notes and I am working with him on keeping his text smaller so that it can fit in the space provided. But basically you just take notes as you're writing, um, things that will help jog your memory. And then there was some fill in the blanks. And then of course, um, there was a science experiment right here. I had to write him a little note because I did order the corresponding science kit and I'll do a review on that in another video. 
So one thing I do like about this notebooking journal is that it does have opportunities to for the on your own questions. And what these are is just a chance for you to kind of just read something and then put your thoughts to it. And then, of course, he had some more um, fill in the blanks. I'm really excited because this is just very well put together. I love how it leaves plenty of room for the children to write their statements. And I also like how Apologia encourages them to go back and correct mistakes, not just as they're taking tests, but also in their notebooking journal, just making sure that you the information is clearly relayed to you and making sure that you can clearly convey it. Um, and then also comprehension. You want to make sure that you understand it and your child is learning it. All right, and so here we have the test booklet, and this booklet just includes the test from all of the modules. All right, so this is the solutions and test. So this has a copy of the test as well as the answers. And this also includes information on how to access their online stuff. I am flipping past that now. So when you get this book, you will get the website as well as the password to access their exclusive on extra online content. It has all the answers to the test, the fill in the blanks, and then of course, anything that they can give their, um, I guess, an educated opinion on, it will say answers will vary. And then it also goes through the rubric again to explain to you how to score because the tests are worth 60% of their overall grade for that module. So once you compute the answers, they get half credit for correcting anything incorrect and then once you compute those answers then you will do your math and then that will give you their grade and then you do your math again and then that will give you their um the 60 percent the first test for the module one and i believe module two are open book so um you know, it should be pretty much easy depending on how they took notes and they're just getting into it. So um, being mindful of reviewing the note taking and, and the information they're able to go through and work and find the answers for this test. And he did very well. He got 100 percent on everything. The only issue that I had with this test was on the back. So on question eight, it gives a statement and it says, how does the first statement create a problem for the second statement? And then there's nowhere to write the response. So I just had him do this orally. One thing that I do want to note is I do find that the course load, even for it to be a early junior high course, is extremely heavy. Even when I was in school, we did not spend an hour doing science um, four times a week. So I do feel like it is um, heavy, but I do feel like their times are spot on because once you get into doing everything, it does, depending on how your child flows, will take them approximately 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how they do stuff. Now, my son is a very fast reader and he also reads fast with comprehension. So that part I'm not worried about. Um, I would definitely suggest investing in the audiobook. I think that might help. Um, take away part of the weight that comes with the reading that has to be done. But also a lot of it is activities and thoughts and writing your thoughts down and taking notes and doing experiments. So that hour is not wasted, but I do feel like the course, um, the course load is a bit heavy for this age. So we did continue to split it um, for the course of this review period. But now that the review period is over, we will be going forward and doing it as directed in the schedule. And it is scheduled again for one hour, four times a week. And of course, we do not have school on Fridays. So that works out perfectly for us. I do find though that if he is taking quite some time doing the activities and he has not gotten to the experiment for the day, I will move that to Friday just out of convenience for our schedule. So it does not take our family off of our plan that we already have set up. So I'm grateful for for another opportunity presented by the Homeschool Review Crew. Two review products for them. Again, a big thank you to Apologia. And then last but not least, please check the description area below. There you will find a link to the crew blog post as well as links for this product on how you can purchase all of the things that you see right here. And then if you check the pinned comment, the first comment will be a pinned comment that will have a link to my blog post and I will provide for you some more details and pictures of our experience so far as well. And if you want an updated review of this at the end of our school year, then please comment down below and I will 
do that for you guys. Or I can do one as we progress throughout the curriculum. If you want a couple of updated reviews, let me know that and I'll do that as well. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys in the next video. Happy homeschooling. <music>